Riding a horse from Vale to Aspen will be one of the most memorable journeys you will ever make. This four day, three night trip traverses some of the most spectacular backcountry nestled in Colorado. Got something great going on here. We're going to be doing a backcountry trip from Vail to Aspen, a 55 mile, four day trip in the backcountry. And this is how I'm going to get there. My friend on this trip, Luke. Located just 20 minutes from the Vail and Beaver Creek ski areas, horseback rides at the Bearcat Stables depart the Bearden Homestead on Squaw Creek Road. The first hour or so at the stables will give us a great opportunity to meet our fellow riders and wranglers and the support staff who will be accompanying us on this trip. Everybody, we're about to start our Bell to Aspen trip and uh, we're all excited and ready to go, so here we go. The ride will depart up the Squaw Creek Trailhead directly from Bearcat Stables. The Squaw Creek section of this trail is a meandering path, generally paralleling Squaw Creek and crossing it a number of times. Yeah, just, uh, what can I say? I'm on a four-day horseback trip from Vail to Aspen. You know, it's pretty exciting stuff. The first day of the Vail to Aspen ride is also the longest, usually around eight hours. This horseback trip is suitable for riders of any level. Gentle horses and easily navigable terrain make this trip possible for beginners, while the stunning scenery and backcountry nature of this trip make it an adventure for even the most experienced riders. We're here. This is the end of the trail for the day. We're coming up on the, I believe the Peter Eston hut, if I recall correctly. Our nights will be spent in 10th Mountain Division huts and private guest ranches, which provide nearly all the comforts of home.
Okay, day two. We're uh, getting the horses saddled up. The Wranglers are doing what they do in the morning, preparing the horses, brushing them down, making sure they don't have any burrs on them to irritate them from the saddles. And uh, so we can all have a nice, comfortable ride. Right, isn't that right, Leeds? Yes, sir. Day two begins with a descent from Peter Eston Hut through aspens and wide open meadows with sweeping views. A short afternoon ride past the beautiful Lime Creek Canyon will bring us to the Frying Pan River Valley. Um, we just came down from the Peter Eston hut, headed to the guest ranch, and uh, yeah, it was beautiful scenery again this morning. Lots of wildflowers, big meadows, um, some nice rocky formations in the canyon just about. And uh, let me show you guys some of the uh, mountain ranges behind us over here. Uh, today's lunch menu by Danielle is Mediterranean turkey sandwiches with tzatziki sauce, tomato, cucumber, spinach and olives on pita bread, tabbouleh salad and hummus crackers, chocolate chip cookies, cherries and grapes. Enjoy. We will ride right into the guest ranch, our home for the evening. This ranch boasts hot showers, flush toilets, and even a hot tub. Because this is a shorter ride day, about seven hours, we will have plenty of time to enjoy the amenities. We're done. I'm going to stay with the uh, crew, get showered up, um, make myself a libation and relax in this beautiful environment we got around us today. It's a good time. It's a good day. The, um, the initial downhill was the most spectacular thing I've ever seen in my life. And going through the aspen groves was like going in a fairy tale. It was just all white. It was almost like you're walking down a wedding aisle with the aspen trees going up like this. It was amazing. Um, it was a tough day, it was all downhill, but the views were spectacular. So we'll see what day three has to hold. We're on day three. We had a very nice night at the Diamond J Guest Ranch last night. Good dinner. Um, and the showers were great, good sleep and accommodations. It was good and everybody's relaxed and ready to uh, head up Mount Yucco, which I hear is pretty much a straight uphill climb for most of the day. It looks like, an, looks like a nice day today. All right, time for me to head out and get some breakfast here, get fueled up for the day. This is Willie. Willis is his formal name. I'm Erica, and uh, he's been good to me. Let's try right. Very reliable. And this is Cindy. We've bonded quite well the last few days, so we're ready for another day in the mountains. We're feeling pretty good. This is JD, and I'm on this trail ride for the third time, and I came back so I could bring my granddaughter Anam with me. And I'm really delighted to be here and to give my granddaughter a chance to enjoy something that I've enjoyed so much. Well, it's very important that when we pack the packs for the pack horse, 
that the weight is distributed evenly and not to have a maximum weight. And here you can see Justin is wrangling today, weighing this, the packs to be sure that they're even so they ride well and proper on the horse. Explain why you gotta weigh the packs. Uh, it's just like a seesaw on the horse. You wanna be balanced. If one side's too heavy, it pulls the whole load off. And how much is the horse gonna be carrying total weight today? 150 pounds, 75 on each side. All right. This is my buddy Luke, and uh, he's been an awesome horse. Great with the camera. I'm calling him Hollywood for this trip. No better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're off to Mount Yekel. Right now we're about two hours into the trip for today, going up to Mount Yuckle. And we're riding up an old logging trail and to a lunch spot, I'm sure. And so far, so good. Back as I thought you were going up. I don't want to and the rocky happen. trail yeah. continues to take us up to Mount Yuckle. Okay, we're watering up the horses over here on our way up to Mount Yuckel. We've just entered the frying pan wilderness area. And um, it's been beautiful so far. Just past beautiful lake. Saw a bunch of brook trout jumping in it. Um, wish I had my fishing rod on that one for sure. And uh, yep, we'll just continue on down the trail and take in the beauty one step at a time. We're continuing up our trail to Mount Yekel through the frying pan wilderness area. And this is what it looks like out the front windshield. We made up the ascent to a lunch spot. And directly in front of us are the Maroon Bells. World famous, photographed many, many times. Okay, for lunch we've got a pan seared ahi tuna with a uh, ginger cream cheese uh, sprouts, a little fresh coleslaw, fresh tomatoes, fresh cucumber, and onion on an anything bagel. Awesome. Enjoy. Everybody enjoying lunch. Why? So good. Well, we've got a little thunderstorm coming coming around, and uh, we're getting on a rain slickers for just a little bit. But I have no doubt that it's going to be moving on real shortly, and Luke and I are going to get back on our way. And uh, now we're gonna head back into the forest and summit Mount Yuckel. So uh, that's the plan. That's what we're gonna be doing. I think we might be summiting the top, but uh, looks like they're rushing us and I think that's because of the thunderstorms that might be coming through because one of the worst, worst places to be in a, th in a thunderstorm is on the top of a mountain. And guess where we're going? On top of a mountain. In a huge hailstorm that we're in right now, we're just cowering. Who wants a helmet and, now? And look, huh? Julie's got her helmet to yep. keep her 
save from all the hail. <laughs> it rained and it, well it hailed and you could see all the hail behind me um, by the corral. It's pretty cool. Um, it's got a little cold. But uh, we're here, we got hot cocoa, coffee, everything else we need to stay warm. So it was a great day. The hut's right behind me here. And let's go ahead on down and see what we got going on. Check out old Margie's. It's a smaller hut than Peter Aston Hut. But I'm sure it'll be nice and comfortable. And like all the 10th Mountain Huts, they're always situated, situa situated with beautiful views. And uh, I'm on the deck here. And this is the view of uh, Margie's right behind me here. We're gonna go and water the horses and ride a bareback down to the watering hole. <laughs> These are my horses. I raised them since they were zero. Bareback. Looking forward to a great dinner. I think tonight we've got pork loin and well there's just a whole bunch of stuff to eat that Danielle was cooking up. And with that note I'm gonna head back to the lodge and see what's for dinner. Tonight we are having roasted pork loin with blue cheese grits, kale and apple hash with a cranberry relish. So day three is over and I think everybody got in the groove today and it was a much easier day. Everybody's horses were, you know, great and everybody was in their rhythm and it was almost an easy day. It's a little disappointing to say, but it was almost a really easy day, really relaxing, um, making tomorrow very difficult that it's the last day. Um, again, with today, <laughs> the views, the, the ease of the horses, the, everybody was so comfortable, pan-seared tuna for lunch. Tomorrow's going to be a tough day with it being the last because it couldn't have gotten any better today. You guys ready for the last day? We are ready nope. for the last day. We had an awesome time. It's my beautiful daughter. She did great. Did fantastic with her horse. Did fantastic with her riding. Did fantastic with Aunt Anna. We had a great trip together, didn't you, see? Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I'm going to take Luke down and get him all watered up for the day. There's a watering hole down here that we're gonna get to. Trip back to civilization to Aspen today. Okay, we're starting our descent into Aspen at this point. Getting off the main forestry road and starting the final leg of the adventure. Although we do have a few more hours to go today. Back to the forest into Aspen. Well, we're heading down, back to civilization, town of Lenado, old mining town.
for uh, coming into the town of Lenado. And it's an old mining town. And uh, the mining stopped for a while. In the 60s, a bunch of hippies kind of came in and claimed it. And then other people wanted the land back, so they had a battle over the land. And uh, I think it went on for quite a while. I don't know really much more of the specifics on that, but that's where we are, town of Lenado. I think we've got about an hour before we'll stop for lunch. And I'm being told that when we get to the top, we'll be having some lunch. So until then, I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy the ride. Okay, we're at our lunch stop, and uh, we're in a nice meadow, lots of grass for the horses, and I'm gonna do my little dismount here and uh, grab some lunch. Uh, be right back. Well, this is it. This is the final lunch, um, and then we're down to Aspen, and it's a trip. I spent a couple of hours on the last portion of this just reflecting about the whole entire experience trying to think about what my favorite part was and I really couldn't pick one it was just all-encompassing unbelievable um, definitely had some surreal pinch me moments along the trip um, the beauty of bring a tear to your eye it's just uh, something that not many people get to do and uh, like I said I'm extremely grateful that I was invited on this trip and with that said I'm gonna go get myself some lunch Probably going to be heading out in just a little bit. Heading down to Aspen. I'm kind of sad it's uh, going to be all over real quick. But um, what a great trip. A lot of fun. Good food, too. Excellent food. And now we're descending into Aspen right after lunch. And this is what it looks like through the windshield. And in the distance is the ski resort Aspen Highlands. We're on the Hunter Valley Trail, continuing to Aspen, and uh, this is what it looks like. We're finishing our descent down to the valley bottom and we'll be there in just a couple minutes. Big open valley out into Aspen. All good things must come to an end and this one, beautiful adventure is about to just do that. We're on the Hunter Creek Trail. I've got the Hunter Creek to my right. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but uh, there it is. And we have some thunderstorms brewing in the back, um, kind of where we came from. Looks like some big ones. Probably like the same ones that dropped a bunch of hail on us yesterday. Well, uh, we'll just continue the journey. Hope for the best. Hopefully we'll get to the trucks before it really starts dumping on us. Well, here we are, coming into the town of Aspen. There's Ajax Mountain right there, the town of Aspen, and we got a thunderstorm right on our heels, so we'll see if we can beat it. Back to the real world of civilization as we know it.
And that's it. The adventure has ended. Belt Aspen 2012.